Hi, my name is Alex from APC Dynamics. And in this video, I will show you how to do the bank reconciliation in Dynamics 365 Business Central. First, I'll walk through the overview of the bank reconciliation page, what to look out for, and what each of the panels mean. Second, I'll walk through on what numbers you need to match up in order to post your bank reconciliation. Lastly, I'll go through how to do any kind of bank adjustments. For example, if there's banking fees, any interest that you need to record on the fly while you do your bank reconciliation. This is the general layout of the bank reconciliation page in Business Central. Essentially, what you need to do is you need to match up the left side to the right side. So on the left side, I've uh, boxed it in pink. This is the lines that need to match up to your bank statement. On the right side that I boxed in blue is the transactions that are recorded in your bank ledger entries within Business Central. Anything that's marked as green has been matched to your bank ledger. Anything that's not green means that there's no matching bank ledger. In order to post the bank reconciliation, the blue boxes needs to match. So your statement ending balance has to match the total balance in your bank reconciliation. In addition, the total balance has to equal zero. To get the total difference to match the zero, every line in the bank statement has to be matched with the bank ledger. If it does not exist, you need to either remove it from the bank statement lines or you need to transfer the amount to the general journal so the transaction can be recorded into the bank ledger. To do the bank reconciliation in Business Central, bring up the bank accounts reconciliations page, click on new, do a drop down and select the bank that you wouldn't reconcile for. Now that on the statement date, this should be the statement date on your bank statement. I'm gonna put in 12,000 as my bank statement ending balance. Next, what you can do is you can suggest lines. What the suggest line process does is it will replicate whatever you have on the bank ledger into the bank statement line. Or if you linked your bank account online, you could automatically download the bank statement from your bank through your bank portal. If you don't have your bank linked, through the bank portal, you could also import the bank statement from a flat file. In this case, I'm just gonna click on suggest line. It's gonna ask you for a starting date and ending date. You would leave the starting date blank, so it would grab all of the transactions that has not been reconciled for, and the ending date will automatically be populated for you. Click OK. If you use a suggest line feature, by default, everything will be automatically matched to the bank ledger because it's a replication of what the bank ledger is. From here, you will need to match up what your bank statement has on the left hand side. So in this case, if this line is not reconciled, you would just need to delete from this line. Now you see my, my total balance matches with my statement ending balance. I could go ahead and post. Now suppose there is a $30 bank fee that I need to record for the current period. So on January 31st, 2023, there is a bank fee that was charged and this is $30. Because there's no corresponding bank ledger, I need to transfer this to the general journal. Define your journal template and the batch name, click on OK. And it will automatically populate the line into your general journal. By default, it's going to put the bank account as a balancing account. So on the account number, I just need to enter my GL account. So interest on bank loans. I'm going to go ahead and post this journal entry so it would be reflected on my bank ledger. Now I'm going to close out. Now you'll see that this bank fee is automatically linked to my bank on my bank reconciliation. If for whatever reason you need to unmatch transactions, so let's say this $30 is matched to this line, okay? I want to make sure I want to make sure this arrow is pointed to the line you want to unmatch the transaction. And on the right hand side, the bank ledger, you want to make sure you click on the line you want to unmatch and click on remove match. And this will remove the match between the two lines. If you want to match them up again, this arrow on the bank ledger side and this arrow on the bank statement side matches up and you want to click on match manually. If you want the system to automatically match it up, you could reconcile it with Copilot, which is an AI tool, or you could have it match automatically. Now you see, because I added $30, my total balance no longer matches with my statement ending balance. You'll need to reconcile that. In this video, I'm just gonna cheat and make my total balance to match 
my statement ending balance. From here, I can just click on post and that completes the process.